All right, all right, all right. Today is October 26, 2010, and I have put LeBron James and the Golden State Warriors to team up with Stephen Curry. There was this big body report that came out today that supposedly the Warriors had contacted the Lakers to try and trade for LeBron this year in 2024. Now, LeBron said hell no, and the Lakers said hell no, but even if I was to make a what if video in 2024, the video would be three minutes LeBron long because LeBron is about to retire within like the next two or three years. So I said, screw it. We're going back 2010. I'm going to see what the whole entire decade would turn out to be if LeBron and Steph were teamed up for the entirety of it the two most probably popular players of this time period you also got monte ellis pure bucket getter here this is 2010 so this is right before clay would have got drafted in 2011 i don't know if they're gonna draft him in this still maybe i'll force him here if they still have like the 11th pick which they probably won't because they have lebron now and wade and bosh over here in miami now alone trade deadline they are five games over 500 which is not good enough for the playoffs crazily enough now the team isn't great but you got lebron and steph now steph is gonna get much better as the years go on currently 25 points from Ron, 20 from Monte, and 18 from Steph. It kind of just looks like the rest of the team sucks. Yeah, literally. Look at the estimated wins added. LeBron at 18, Steph at 7, Monte at 6, and basically everybody else in the negatives. Damn near the the rest of the team, almost. Jeremy Lin's a positive, which in real life, he didn't even play in this season. He was a reject until he got to the Knicks for those, those four games in the middle of the season. Shout out to Jeremy Lin. Random. I don't know. Shout out to the world today. You know, we got oxygen or whatever. Um, Anything else interesting? The Knicks protested a game the other day uh they they uh which was insane <laughs> they got called for some insane foul at the buzzer on 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 brunson and then and then they sent an hour later the refs were like yeah actually it wasn't a foul our bad and i don't even know if they're gonna replay the overtime or whatever i don't know what the hell goes on with this league hey low key though um just to note the team started doing really really well 47 and 31 as april rolls around they're gonna make the playoffs barely the conference is stacked there is no injuries on in this one before we go any further i want to thank you to prize picks for sponsoring this video prize picks is the best place to play daily fantasy sports available in over 30 states you can use the code click you can get it through 100 cent back on 100 dollars your first deposit that's be 19 or older to play age restrictions vary from state to state and please play responsibly also with prize picks is demons and goblins feature you can win up to 100 times your money so for today's picks alex caruso at three and a half rebounds i'm gonna definitely take more on this he's done that in every single game lately victor at a three and a half made i'm gonna take more on this as well so he gets a good few every game off of just trailing down the court ayo dosumu at a three and a, yep give me this one as well nikola vucevic at nine and a half rebounds i'm gonna go more on this one as well and then demar Derozan at 21 and a half points why so low i'm not sure but hey guess what i'm going more on this one as well going up to 100 times your money on prize picks on this one I went up to 10 times. Thank you to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. Remember to use code CLICK. Click the link in the description. Get up to 100% back and up to $100 of your first deposit. And now to get back into the video, D Wade wins MVP by his lonesome over there. I mean, he's got he's got Bosch, but without LeBron, you know, it's a lot more touches. Wade and LeBron make the first team, and Curry didn't make nothing. I mean, he's still young, obviously. They make it as the seventh seed against Denver. So that actually might be against Melo. I, I think Melo should be, still be. Yeah, Melo's still here. Melo, Chauncey, JR, and with Birdman at the center. Golden State wins game one. They lose game two. They lose game three. Win game four. Win game five. And they are going on to the second round. I had a feeling it was with how good they played in that second half of that season. They're basically like a top four seed, which now though they're playing some. I mean, it's Co yeah, Kobe and Powell. Yeah, that's pretty tough. With how bad the overall team is. Hey, it is what it is though. Win game one. Win game two. Lose game three. Lose game four. Lose game five. Down three, two in the series. And they're going to lose in the second. I mean, this is fine this is okay 40 points from braun 7 for 23 from monte steph with 14 9 and 12 and yeah delon wright i rock with delon Wright back in this era what's really striking to me is how much older the Del delon wright is than um sorry it's actually darrell wright than delon wright yeah darrell wright i remember this dude back in the day he was drafted in 04 delon wright was probably drafted in like 2014 or 2012 he was drafted in 2015 his older brother was drafted in 04 that's kind of crazy i've had friends before though like we were in middle school and they had siblings that were like 40 i don't know how that happens but screw it derrick rose wins the mvp there the heat loss in the second round to indiana jared thomas retired also shout out to grant hill i rock with grant hill i rock with all like the niche nba guys who talk all the time for like my whole life so far like grant hill dennis scott uh steve smith shack with the hair the luxury tax only got implemented in 2011 no wonder the thunder were running to trade hard and they were probably scared that this thing was like the boogeyman or something and the wolves will get the number one overall pick so they actually 
actually fall a pick before the Cavs a better position to get Kyrie in this draft number one Kyrie goes to the Wolves and number two Kawhi goes to the Cavs Jimmy to the Bucks and the Kings will get Bojan the Nets get Klay Thompson yeah there was there was no way for me to bring Klay to Golden State in this because I mean maybe I would have finessed it if we had like the 11th pick but we were what 20th so yeah not really the best argument here we got Vooch though that's actually you know what I'm fine with that I, I looked at the pick and didn't even register who it was that I was looking at in front of my face Melo's a free agent we don't got money for him I'm not doing nothing anyways but yeah where will he sign probably stay in Denver yeah could force him to New York but screw it he didn't get traded and they did pretty well last season J.R. Smith went to the Cavs him and Kyrie gonna be chucking the hell out the ball it basically be, be Dion Waiters on a rental well three-year rental is pretty Oh, Zach Randolph went to the Kings 10 years early. Do people know about that? That Zach, I was go. me and my friends were looking through on the NBA.com. You could like watch old games and stuff. And there was a game, just Zach Randolph. It's like 2019. I think it was 2017, 18 or 2018, 19. Also, Curry's up to a 90 overall now, which yeah, the the the, the rain is about to start. And we signed AK Karolenko. Oh yeah. Karolenko with Vucevic at the center. This is going to be a pretty good season probably. But yeah, that man, Zach Randolph has the craziest old man highlights. Because Zach Randolph, when he was 20, played like he was 42 so think about when he actually was 40 also i'm totally fine with keeping monte around and not trading for bogut but instead having Vucevic, like that sounds elite to me also the team is eight and two to start the season second in the conference currently fun fact delon wright's middle name is reginald i was on his wikipedia earlier seeing how old they were so i'm i was just still looking at it i've seen that kyle kuzma uh said he didn't want to get traded to the mavs because he wanted to stay on the the wizards hey man he said he wanted to get his buckets i don't know do i respect it i don't know that's up to you to decide well i guess i I asked myself, you know what? I don't really care. Hey, at the trade deadline this year, we're first in the conference. We're run, running away with it right now. 44 and 9. Curry's averaging 21. Monte's averaging 21. Vooch is playing pretty well in his first year here. With 12 and 8, he'll probably be like an all rookie first team or some three assists as well. That was something that Bogey got a lot of love for was his passing. So Vooch is kind of doing that pretty decently over here. And then uh Karolinko starting as well, just playing defense, running around, doing cardio. And yeah, LeBron and Curry leading the team along with Monte in terms of impact role all that stuff russell westbrook who went a very early mvp 2012 next to kd Kawhi wins rookie of the year michael beasley six man of the year in new orleans tim duncan dpoi jeremy lynn most improved on the bobcats we let him go and he got good that's sad and keith smart coach of the year with the warriors i did not know he was the coach of the warriors lebron on the first team and don't believe steph or yeah amante made anything lebron also on the defensive second team and yep vooch makes the all rookie first team so that's good first seed 63 wins first round against new orleans didn't even check who was there but i'm pretty sure it was uh actually i forgot oh yeah chris paul right i, I just remember seeing michael Beasley like three seconds ago shout out to alec burks Knicks legend i think i just saw kwame brown on that team too we're playing san antonio round two we're up 2-1 so far tied 2-2 two -two. they're gonna come Come back and it's still 3-2 and we're on to the conference final see you tim duncan now this is the real powerhouse of these simulations always in these 2010s the oklahoma city thunder i was scared of this team as i was starting this up they got russell westbrook james harden and kd now obviously we actually match up really well now they do have the clear center uh mismatch with surge and, and vooch two youngs uh vooches right now so you know he's gonna get cooked there probably but uh the rest honestly we match up pretty well game one is a win game two is a win game three is a loss game four is a win game five is a loss game six is a loss and we're going on to the game seven game seven game seven game seven game seven don't know why i just said it so many times we're getting smoked we are getting smoked just an absolute sell i think this was three one three two i don't know but they just cooked us in game seven hold on can i check real quick did we just blow a three one lead this early because this is the warriors and you gotta check game one was a one yep it was three one they just won three straight games to win win the conference finals kd had 35 like the number on the back of his jersey westbrook the mvp he went nuts 10 for 10 from the line as well they had 34 free throws and we had nine you actually i don't know if you could see that on yeah no let me, let me take this stupid camera out the way this idiot uh nine free throws i mean you could also just add them up but nine free throws on the bottom here to 34 from the thunder i guess they do have a lot you know what no i can't even say that. lebron didn't even get free throws i'm about to say like they have like westbrook and harden who probably get to the rim a good amount but damn they rigged it for the thunder i can't believe it how you rig it against lebron well thunder win the championship we probably in that case we probably would have smoked the thunder if we barely i mean the, the celtics we barely lost to the thunder it is what it is i guess there's always next year Kurt thomas old body self-retired draft lottery finesse any picks huh finesse any picks today 
Uh, nope, but the Bucks got number one. A D A Anthony Davis to the Bucks. Shout out to Anthony Davis. Uh, Beal goes number two. Draymond three and Lillard four to the Clippers. So he'll join Blake Griffin. Beal joins Kyrie and Kevin Love. I'm pretty sure. I don't know who the hell's on the Rockets currently because it's not like they have Harden. They probably just got like Kevin Martin. Dwight Howard will go to the Bucks to join Anthony Davis, leaving the mag. Uh, leaving yeah, leaving the Magic. Chris Paul also will join the Raptors. That's the most that I could see right now. Chris Paul will just go and be with DeRozan, Bargnani, and Boris Diaw. And the Bucks should have like Brandon Jennings, yeah. And now they have Anthony Davis and Bogut and Dwight. Interesting, but yeah, I don't know. They got Mike Bridges. Curry's up to a 93 overall. LeBron's a 97 at 27 years old. We also signed Chris Kamen. That's a good signing for now while Vooch is still getting better. We get Chris Kamen who averaged 13 and 8 last year. It's a really good signing, actually. The bench is kind of getting more refined. Barbosa makes his way around to Golden State again. Is that Ish Smith at 24 years old? Look at him. Okay. At Wilt Chamberlain Jr. Was that Hito? Was that old man Hito all the way down here? Did we just sign this man? Are we traded? Why would we why would we trade for him if he's making 11 million dollars? What the hell did we trade? I, I don't even know. Where, where did he come? Where, where Minnesota? Hold on. I need to get to the bottom of this. Whoever we traded already left them. So we traded an expiring contract for Hito Turkoglu. I don't even know what the hell, how that's possible. Man is making 11 million in 2012. You got to realize it's like 27 million in the modern day terms. <laughs> what? One of my friends who's just a, who's a Heat fan just sent me a uh, message and he's like, she ain't watched the series. <laughs> There's this thing going on right now where Candace Parker was like talking trash about Jalen Brunson, talking about like how he wasn't the best in the second round or something. And then now she like doubled back and was like, oh, no, I didn't mean he wasn't the best, but he wasn't the best player when he was. Like, the Heat played insane as a team, and I don't know why the hell we're still talking about the second round. It's been a year. But now she's talking about Jimmy Butler was the best player in the series, whatever. My friend who's a Heat fan sent it and said, she ain't watched the series, but I'm here for the Jimmy propaganda. <laughs> that man, Jimmy, is a tank, though. The, the, from watching Luka and Jimmy in person, the one thing that I've I, you really feel, like, in agony in real life is when players kind of just catch the ball. Like, they go right to, like, the low post, but as a guard, and you're guarded by, like, usually smaller players in that sense or a guard or a wing and just bully just bully like they got center strength and it's like jimmy luca obviously like lebron they just got that you know what i mean but yeah derrick rose wins mvp ad wins rookie of the year jordan farmar six man deandre dpoi keith smart coach of the year for the blaze what the hell happened there maybe he's maybe he's the goat i don't know he, he just went to a different team and they got better than us lebron made the second team this year i mean I, i'm fine as long as it results in winning oh yeah the blazers did have a better record than us but they were lower because they're in the same division as the thunder and the divisions thing used to matter this season braun averaged 23 chris came and loki took too many shots same with actually Darrell Wright, and i might i might continue to call him delon on accident throughout this i just almost did it again barbosa couldn't hit a damn shot he shot 38 from the field 28 from three what the hell is going on with you we are playing the spurs in round one we beat them last year i don't know i don't have the best feeling but nope i should have we won 4-0 second round against the clippers we're up 2-1 up 3-1 and nope not yet 3-3 we're about to blow a 3-1 again. This time the Los Angeles, not the Lakers, the Clippers. It, it really is. Ooh, ooh. LeBron made a shot. We're down by a three with 44 to go. Screw it. I'm jumping in. DeAndre Jordan will pass in the ball to corner Davis down to Walker. That's Kemba. Young Kemba on the Clippers. Why he look tall? Why does Kemba look tall? No, he's just six foot. Okay. He looked taller than six foot. Aaron Davis back to Kemba. Blake and DeAndre running down. Damn, DeAndre didn't wear number nine, did he? He might have won number nine. Oh, Kemba pulls up for three, and that is good. Kemba, Kemba Walker, cardiac Kemba might have just smoked us, ended the series right there, right in front of our eyes. Curry over to Monte for three. That's good. I mean, I guess there's a chance. I don't know. I honestly just forgot to sim cast out, but hold on. Passing the ball real quick. Eric Gordy, you want to break a couple free throws real quick? First one, 86% is probably over. Yeah, he hit both. I'm going to just get out of here. We just going to take the law. Yep, it's over. Eric Gordon had 30. Elite Hooper, by the way, Eric Gordon. Thunder going to go back to the finals this time against the Nets and smoke them. I don't even know how the hell. The Nets have JJ Barea, Chris Humphreys, Derek Favors, Devin Harris, Clay Thompson, and Brooke Lopez, their franchise leading scorer who shot seven for 26 in this game six. I don't even know how they won two games off the Nets or off the Thunder, but whatever. Old man Andre Miller retired. The Knicks got the, where were the Knicks at? Hold on. Can I see that again? Oh, they were at four. Yeah, they jumped up from four to one. Appreciate that. Just uh, draft Anthony Bennett real quick. That's what the city needs. Okay, I, I guess this can work as well. Damn, Anthony Bennett actually went second to the Magic. Um, We got Rudy Gobert. Okay, just keep him around. Don't cut him on some weird stuff in year two. Okay, well, they're not cutting boots, so that's a good sign. Keep these guys around. Wait, wait, wait. What did that just say? 
Why did y'all trade for Hito? This man is making another. You signed him. You traded for him two years. What is that? Two years, 24, 25 million dollars. I remember. Uh, whoa, whoa. I almost messed things up for them. Keep, make sure you keep Steph Curry. Good God. Hold on. Yeah, it's still there. Okay, bet. Steph Curry. Resign real quick. Steph Curry prepared to take an offer. And they, they make it sure to keep him. I'm not even doing nothing. I remember when the Knicks, I remember J.R. Smith resigned with the Knicks in like 2013, 2012, or something like that. And he had got like eight million a year, and it was a pretty reasonably big contract for that era. Like that's how different the NBA is from. So for he to be making 12, 13 million at a 70 overall is terrible. I mean, shoot, LeBron's making seven. He's making four million less than LeBron. I did watch a podcast with Hito and he talked about how he was so happy he finessed i think it was the raptors for that contract oh we signed jose calderon okay it's a good deal got jose we got Corey maggetti got a bunch of old men looking for a championship i respect it not really but you know we'll let it slide yeah i don't know what happened but the team just sucks this year like i actually don't know what happened they're just not good um i mean vooch is shooting more but he's efficient lebron's efficient oh Corey maggetti's not playing the best karolenko fell off but like these aren't valid excuses d rose wins another mvp Giannis rookie of the year oh lebron won dpoy this year he also made the first team and we didn't make the playoff 43 wins i don't know anomaly don't know don't know what the hell happened john wall wins finals mvp in the game seven win over the trailblazers led by ty loss and lamarcus aldridge and paul Millsap and brandon roy and greg Oden. that's honestly a beautiful this is really nice to look at this this blazers team they have a lot of players damn a lot of really good players they even got kendall marshall and the dnps passing legend but john wall is too good with vince carter old self and gilbert arenas old self ray allen retired what the hell we got what did we jump up crazy we got the third pick and drafted Joel Embiid. Hold on. We were, I don't, it looks like, wait, we might have jumped up from, from 13 to top three. I'm pretty sure. I wish I could have seen this my damn self, but I didn't even, we have been making the playoffs so much. I've just been simulating it. We got Joel Embiid with the third overall pick. I, I don't think, I mean, we could have drafted Jokic, but can't really get much better than this. this. man, Randall went number one, Andrew Wiggins number two. Jesus, that does not look like Jabari Parker. Although I said Hassan Whiteside, it says Herman Whitehead. So we have Embiid, Embiid, Gobert, and Vucevic now. Curry's still a 93, which is, I mean, he can still do all the stuff that Curry needs to do, dog. Like, he didn't get to like a 96. We'll be fine. Um, Jamal Crawford's here. That's fine. Jared Dudley. It's just a matter of don't do what you just did again. Don't miss the playoffs again. John Wall wins another MVP. Oh, well, well, actually, did he win MVP or just finals MVP? Yeah, this is his first MVP after his finals MVP. Jokic wins rookie of the year over there in Utah at a 76. They gave him a lot of opportunity. LeBron, another DPOI. I, didn't, I haven't checked on the team all year. Scott Brooks, best in the conference or best in the league whatever coach of the year who the hell cares? curry i don't think still hasn't made an all nba team lebron's made it obviously every single year now we're the sixth seed 53 wins that's only three games back of the first seed so it's just a tightly packed conference first round against san antonio we're about to lose we are hold on three one comeback no we lost in the first round um don't know why so many people played in this game but nonetheless, LeBron had a triple double. Can I see what the stats were for the season? Because I almost want to ring that one once upon a time, but haven't been much m very close since. Curry averaged 19 and 8. LeBron averaged 22 and 8 with eight, 8 rebounds, two steals and a block. Curry with two steals as well. And Bede's averaging 12. He started in 34 games in his, I think, rookie season, right? Jared Dudley's the starting four. Let me just see the wins added. Screw it. Doesn't seem like they're, uh, oh, wow. Wait, hold on. Jared Dudley, negative 2.4 in the win. I don't know if that's an excuse though. I don't know. And the Bulls will win the championship. It would Derrick Rose 37 and 10. That seems like an elite finals. They won by three in game seven. And Westbrook and, and what's his name? And Durant looked like a powerhouse against them. Chauncey Billups retired after winning a championship again. Anyway, fin we finessed the pick again. Uh, we got Javante. Damn, he's that old. Chris Paul and Dwight stay with their respective teams. We haven't seen them do much. Why is this dude Dante Green this good again in this sim? What team you went to? Memphis? Man screw the grizzlies i'm gonna take his contract off too i'm not letting this dude be this good i'm hating how the hell you program just a random guy to be this good lebron goes down to a 97 at 30 years old it's probably just like a one-year fluke thing and beads up to an 82 he could have a obviously huge change on the franchise um go bears up to a 76 the backup big actually did they let 
go of yeah they, they let go of vucevic i don't know where he went i don't think they traded him he just is gone he's just not here anymore oh we got michael petrus i mean hey, i wouldn't say him beating gobert is that bad of a center rotation anyways though but damn that's kind of sad that we just drafted vucevic and he's just gone out of thin air john wall picks up another mvp devin booker rookie damn 30 at seven at a 76 overall in his rookie season with 46 percent from the field usually it'll be like on some crazy inefficient stuff this man averaged 30 on efficient shooting in his rookie season 18 estimated wins added to the magic this might be the greatest draft pick ever damian lillard six man oh yeah they smoked his potential that's tough he was a pretty old draft jimmy butler's in chicago I guess he got there somehow. He's still a 77 too. Damn, they smoked a few people. Maybe I should have left that one random power forward, Dante Green. Maybe I should have left him good. Um, Warriors, Steph Curry finally makes the third team. LeBron was also, he, he averaged career highs in points and assists. That's good. And we are the seventh seed. Maybe not good. First round against Minnesota. And we lose in five. Um, we might be debunking the, oh my, John Wall, 41 points per game in the finals. He actually beat Bradley Beal in the finals. Bradley Beal, Kyrie, Co wait, what? Didn't Kawhi, y'all yeah, about to say Kawhi got drafted by the Cavs. You five, four years later, he's like, wait, actually, my bad. I, I wanted to go to Minnesota. I want to go number one. And he just went and joined Kyrie and Beal and Luck. We might never win. Um, but to, with, to be fair, though, we got Embiid, though. So, like, what's going on? Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce retired together, holding hands, frolicking off into the sunset. We drafted nobody, traded the pick this year. We also traded, uh, this is a different trade, but Will Barton, Karan Butler are here now. I don't know. I was just checking to see if we had the pick trade up somewhere. Uh, is LeBron a free agent? No, he just keeps on re-signing, I guess. Yeah, he's got two years left. Seth's got one year left. Carmelo signs with the Hawks. He'll have a real jersey there now. Ugh, 41. Embiid's up to an 86. Curry's up to a 94. Gobert, a 79. I mean, Darrell Wright's still here. Monte's still here in a four-year, 40 million. Paul Millsap, kind of old self, is here. Now, this is around the time he got to, like, Denver in real life. Maybe, like, a year later. And Paul Millsap had a calm little run, though. Paul Millsap was, like, the dude that, especially in the old era where, like, games were playing to, like, 80 to 90 points. You know what I'm saying? He's giving you a cool little semi-efficient 20 to 20 22 points a game like it's a good player right there i rocked with paul Millsap, and in 2k had that little stupid looking jump shot feet clinking together hey this season's looking elite though we're 40 and 12 now i'm not sure what changed right now i should have been checking the team stats throughout that timberwolves team that's that's a god sent to minnesota they're number one and also what's changing is that steph has taken the reins steph is now averaging 26 and 11 to lebron's 20 and 10 both fantastic players but it looks like steph is taking the reins as the leader of the offense i guess i don't know how this happened but it happened like i don't know what insinuated this to possibly happen but okay cool whatever leads to wins he's the more valuable player now um i mean lebron is 32 but he's got you know 65 badges the fact that you have 30 more badges than steph curry is not um team stats we are number two in offensive rating top 10 in defensive rating damn them 76s are fantastic at defense just can't score they're okay at scoring i guess i don't know we got Millsap at the four now as well i feel like that's a much better option than a uh, Darrell wright for all the mirrors also we got dudley and Darrell wright still though right there Darrell wright didn't even really play the four much he was more of a three especially in this era like the rebounds got to be up in this era as well because there's so many more traditional fours like you had guys like um Reggie Evans playing the four and Zach Randolph and Boris Diaw and Dewan Blair and, and Udonis sometimes. He kind of lost it. Actually, well, this is 2017, so this is more, more modern, actually. But I, I'm still acting like we're in 2010 still. Damn, it's been seven years. Damn, Anthony Davis wins most valuable player already. Oh, well, I mean, it's been a few years. Ben Simmons, rookie of the year. Dame Lillard again, six man of the year. ADDPOI. Dusty Parker, executive of the year. Oh, it's us. We're, uh, I think it said Avery Johnson was our coach also lebron and steph both made the second team and joel Embiid, i think i just saw made the third uh defensive first team we already went over the stats and everything so let's just push through round one it's already a 3-3 this is the clippers they got a uh, kemba still this is the team that yeah they did smoke us once upon a time indeed yeah okay cool we're gonna win game seven pretty handedly 40 point win 33 and 16 from steph 33 to 11 from lebron 26 and 21 from Embiid. at its peak this team is looking like it could be very dominant what about second round oh Oh, we're losing to the king okay lock back in three two who the hell is on the kings is still just oh, my, oh yeah it's zebo zebo and boogie cousins and omri cassipi and joe johnson james johnson tyreek evans the the dude mike bridges he's an 86 now it's another dude i didn't nerf what if we lose we lose okay whatever yeah sure i guess and the wolves win the ring anyways kevin love finals mvp they've just built a powerhouse over there mike miller retired and we out here drafting devon reed steph re-signed on another four-year deal that was in the 
middle of the season though i just now noticed that Embiid's an 89 he's still improving lebron's on the latter half of his career now can't even lie but <laughs> what was that one tweet your buddy's like lebron's uh lebron's 30 now he, this won't go on for much longer ad wins mvp again markel wins rookie of the year thunder coach of the year and they're back up to the top i guess lebron and steph on the second team again we are the third seed make it out the first round and second round minnesota yeah we're out of here we are out of here Joel Embiid, like you could say oh yeah we might need you know what i'm saying uh clay thompson or whatever or draymond but dog we got Joel Embiid and rudy gobert and we still can't win games i know that rudy's come off the bench but or at least he should be i think we got Bojan now no we got bogdan montel is still here as well he he did absolutely nothing in this game damn near yeah and the wizards will win the championship again man john wall is on a tear team of michael beasley and and um demarcus cousins won the west as well tj ford retired one of these two was about to expire and they re-signed again lebron or curry i forget which one it was and bead's gonna re-sign with us after they match his contract he's up to a 91 monte's down to a 84 bronze still at 97 at 33 years old and mario hazonia is here oh boy oh my look who's here seth curry welcome to the warriors on a two-way contract random here's a peek at the all-star teams you got him beat out here on his first all-star appearance lebron and curry are both starting jeremy lynn's here a bunch of warriors um had agreed players i don't know we're 33 and 14 so far that's second in the conference ad mvp Trey young rookie of the year with the nuggets julius randall wins six man of the year and bead wins dpoi for your warriors and the timberwolves won 66 games lebron and steph second team and bead third team this many good players and bead obviously on the uh, all nba first or all defensive first team this many good players we're the second seed so 53 wins is still 13 games behind the timberwolves so uh, even if we do make it out wait a second why are the thunder the seventh seed they lose somebody westbrook no i mean they lost to baka but they ain't lose anybody off the big three and guess what they smoked us first round terry rozier dropped 23 on our noggin and the timberwolves won the championship they gave anthony davis the finals mvp anyways though zach randolph retired grant williams he ain't saving a damn thing over here i saw like an official tweet today that the mavericks were tired of grant williams yapping and that's why they traded him i'm not even joking i unless it was let me make sure but no, i did see it from official sources but maybe not the word yapping that might have been fake nope i'm not yeah i was right monte ellis is regressing we got jordan farmar on the team now i don't know just go out and win dog i gotta do another rebuild after this because i feel helpless watching these you know what maybe i call an audible i might call an audible screw it we're what 10 years in i might have to start you know i might i might start making like a 10-year clause in these videos you know why because usually around the 10-year mark is where i'm like if the team is starting to bore me i want to do something that unbores it Un un makes me unbored so screw it i might just make a trade i've just made a trade with the with the chicago bulls we have traded monte ellis old self jordan farmar walt moore and two second round picks for julius randall and draymond green welcome to golden state you old bastard he hasn't i just threw him in there i'm like screw it it's been weird to not see you around i don't know if uh clay's around anywhere shoot where's clay at where's clay thompson at brooklyn thank you for the trade we have traded rudy gobert to the nets with a first round pick and like two seconds seconds and some 70 overall dude or clay thompson welcome to the team yep that's right i've revamped the team steph curry clay thompson lebron james julius randall joel Embiid, dave irving draymond green bogdan lamar O'Connor. i don't care who the hell is on the bench seth curry's here yeah if they want to make more trades shoot they still can i i don't you know i i uh, i'm supposed to not have control but you guys have been pissing me off too much i'm like whatever i'll make it interesting in some way we got like probably six years left before they retire Derek williams an all-star and you in this universe that's pretty cool i liked him a lot in his one year with the knicks he was pretty cool d'angelo russell wins most valuable he was supposed to be this good zion gets rookie of the year on his team and the timberwolves get the coach of the year we had yet again two all nba second team players mb didn't make an all nba team but he was all defensive first team we were the second seed 58 wins whole team's pretty playing pretty well honestly shoot clay's getting outscored by bogdan bogdanovich draymond's averaging four four and four or some close to that and in the first round we lose to the clippers also some i checked earlier because people always like oh you should be adjusting this and this and that to make them dog 99 shot tendency 99 touch tendency for curry lebron shoot not even look at mbs but he's got it too they don't be doing a damn thing dog they don't do a thing out here Tim Wolves, Kyrie, finals mvp yeah i ain't making no more trades shoot i brought the core back and they still lost amari stoudemire retired did this man draymond leave immediately yeah i don't even care whatever we got randall and clay that's your new draymond we about to enter the modern era i guess isn't this like 2022 do they just 
just start the modern era from 2022 now? Or no, it's 2020. Oh, okay. I guess. Yeah. That doesn't even make sense though. Because wouldn't the modern era just be now? I don't know. <laughs> Kyrie wins MVP. Allen Bibby with 72 and 10 for the uh, Timberwolves. Embiid all NBA second team. He actually made it above LeBron and Curry. LeBron didn't make a damn thing this year. Third seed, 52 wins, which is 20 less than those Timberwolves. And we come back down 3-0 and then get swept in the second round. That's good. That's great. Um, Can I see the stats for the season? Because what the hell is going on? Embiid and Curry both average more points than LeBron, who just is basically playing like Nick Batum in this offense or something. D'Angelo Russell, like what is going on? What the hell is going on? Trevor Reza retired. I'm going to have to do a rebuild after this. Not, not in this video, but next video. I'm doing something. I can't sit back and watch this buffooner anymore because I'd have LeBron and Steph swing, uh, jumping around for the Shanghai Sharks by this point. I would release them sooner than I'd be watching this team. They'd be, we'd be drafting a uh, shoot Luca, whoever. I don't know. Luca's been in the league. I don't know. Cade, um, uh, Cooper, Cu not Cooper Cup. What's his name? Uh, that's that's the wide receiver. What's buddy named Cooper Flag? Yeah, that dude. AD wins MVP. Josh Giddy, rookie of the year. MB DPOI. LeBron All NBA third team. Didn't he not make? I don't know. Second seed this year. That's pretty good. Shoot. First round smoked them. Second round got smoked. Game seven lost to them Nuggets. We're trash. D'Angelo Russell's better. Zion's better. Jason Tatum's better. Trey Young's better. Why the hell are all these players on one team? Quickly's not even playing. This man, D'Angelo Russell, is the best player on the team still to this moment, even with all them godly picks that they got. Carmelo Anthony retired. Josh Smith got his number retired. I will be there no matter what. Trey Young wins MVP. Joel, another DPOI. RJ Barrett, most improved player. Jamal Murray, clutch player. LeBron and Joel, they make the third team. And the Warriors, we lose in the second round again the exact same thing the exact same Derek Williams fine yeah you know what what year is it 2023 give it one more year dog I don't even want to see them retire I don't want to see you two scrubs retire yeah I guess 40 year old LaMarcus always will save us oh hey Tyrese Maxey how the hell did you even get here we drafted you no Toronto did how the hell did you get here speaking of uh this draft class actually 2024 I just keep on hearing that it's terrible like really bad like really really bad so like if you look at a uh, if you look at these dudes, and I, I've watched some of these dudes, as you know, what I'm saying, playing or whatever, watch them move around, whatever. This guy, Ron Holland, who's still number one in this little 2K draft, supposedly he's kind of falling off in the G League. He hasn't done too well. Same with Buzelli, supposedly, is what I heard. I've watched some of Collier. He's kind of like a bully, big body guard. Alexander Saar is kind of just like a Jaron Jackson type of dude, but he's projected to go number one right now. But he's not like Victor. He's more like a Jaron Jackson. At least it seems as if so obviously every player has the opportunity to develop as time goes on but it doesn't look like there's any definitive it's one of like like if the pistons actually stay top five or top three or top two whatever top one this year it's literally the worst year they could have asked for they definitely would have wanted the one pick last year and not this year obviously i mean come on now you've seen how victor's playing that man just had a triple double with block shout out to hassan whiteside he retired i swear if victor was on the pistons not only would they have not went on that losing streak but and i know the spurs aren't good either but like the spurs are really bad the spurs and the wizards both outside of their you know what i'm saying well the wizards just in general and then the spurs at, uh, outside of victor are worse than the pistons i mean maybe not after the bogdanovich trade because they kind of just gave up bogdanovich and burks for quentin grimes who as a knicks fan he's good but he's not like better than them two at least combined you know and i think they might have made another trade as well but nonetheless you know you got the number one overall pick two years ago you got another whatever i'm just i'm just rambling out but back to the main point that i just keep on hearing stuff about how this is dude nikola topic he looks solid it scares me to think that a team's gonna draft in top five he looks like the dude that you would draft at like 14 or 15 he would surprise you and be way better than you'd expect but I, like the fact that he's actually expected to go top five or top eight is actually maybe not eight but like top i like earlier in the year in december i seen he was he was projected number two and i'm like damn there's a chance a lot of the draft ends up really ugly or may, hopefully it surprises us because it feels like most of the drafts in the past few years they're solid and they surprise us even more po post draft all the players end up overperforming, which is nice so like like even right now jalen williams at an okc from that 2022 draft is eight that's one of my favorite players in the league i just love watching that dude play who the hell is will winston who the hell is this he went one pick four how is it that i import the 2023 draft class from 2k and they have fake players in here the draft 
just happened. It just happened. Not gonna lie, he's a dog for winning over Victor, though. First round, we come back 3-1. Second round, we lose again to Denver. They're just our kryptonite, and they lost as well. Minnesota, they've just dominated. Can I see real quick? Hold on. NBA history, past champions. Philly just got one, but in the West, it's been Minnesota and Denver and Sacramento one year. But aside from that, it's been Minnesota and Denver every single year for the since 2016. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine straight years has been Minnesota and Denver minus one year, unless I'm missing some, but I could clearly see four Minnesota rings, two Denver rings, and then obviously some Eastern Conference rings. But that's, yeah, yeah, this is just sad. And before that, you had a few OKC years, actually three straight OKC, uh, three out of four years were OKC, a Portland year, and not one Warriors finals appearance. Matter of fact, is it, is LeBron going to retire now? Shoot, no, but LaMarcus Aldridge did. Do I give him one more year? Um, I guess, I guess. But you know what? This team, this is one of the most disappointing simulations I've ever seen, especially because I even helped you guys back in 2019 and you just didn't capitalize on it. And all these teams out drafted the hell out of you. Oh yeah, even Joel Embiid's getting worse. That's how old, that's how far into this we are. We're further than real life. Zion wins MVP this year. Joel won DPOY again. Hello. And they got eliminated in the play. They added the playing game just to piss me off. That's what it's looking like. They added in the playing game just to piss me off. Hold on. Let me see some. LeBron is retiring. Don't give a damn about what Curry's doing. What would happen if LeBron and Curry were on the same team? This. You know what's crazy? I didn't even think all the way this through. LeBron, two MVPs, no rings. Shoot. One finals appearance. Not he didn't make it once the entire decade. Of course, he makes the Hall of Fame. Um, there was no injuries on this entire thing either. So he is probably going to be the number one scorer of all time. Actually, I don't even, he probably will be just based off longevity, but he wasn't even scoring that much this entire time either. He, he really, half the time he was averaging 19 points. No, he, Kobe's number one. He scored 40K, but Kobe's number one. I mean, KD's going to pass him as well. So there you go. This was absolutely terrible. It ain't been real. It ain't been fun, but it ain't been real fun. And um, I'll be back to forcefully make 2K more interesting in due time. For now, here's this scenario. Shoot, you know, I've been moving pretty sparingly with the uploads lately. This is the type of video that low key, I might not even like on a normal basis, I wouldn't even post, but this is such a big, a he big headline that I'm like, ask or we'll see what happens. And uh, what happened was nothing. They were garbage. But yeah, it's been real. It's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. Subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. We're on the road to 7 billion subscribers um, or don't because you have free will and I'll see you around. Good.